Hello dear students hope you are doing great and have good time i am bar so you are very well educated dear students today we are going to discuss one of the most important topic that is lycopiron as we have already learned about the different types of genes depending upon the function we have two types of genes number one is structural gene and number two is regulatory gene we have learned it that is what is meant by regulatory gene regulatory gene is that gene which controls the activity of so many set of general genes that is known as regulatory gene now today what about the lycopiron before starting with the lycopiron firstly we will hear right what is meant by lac lac means lactose lac means lactose and what is meant by opiron what is meant by opiron what is meant by opiron dear students dear students as we have already learned that it is when regulatory gene is that gene which controls the activity of structural gene yes simple is the case here that means when one gene opiron means when one gene when one gene controls controls so many so many structural genes this is known as opiron what is meant by opiron simply when one gene when one gene controls so many structural genes this is known as opiron this concept is known as opiron you have to keep mind first what is meant by opiron what is meant by lac after that the procedure is simple the process is simple and who proposed this opiron model this was given by jacob and mann jacob and mann this was given by jacob and mann you have to keep in mind the name of the two scientists also now what about the lac what is now met by lycopiron before starting this lycopiron we here to keep in mind what is the arrangement of genes or how genes are arranged in case of prokaryotes and in case of eukaryotes firstly we will discuss the arrangement of genes arrangement of gene after that the procedure will become similar arrangement of genes arrangement of genes arrangement of genes in case of prokaryotes in case of prokaryotes what is the arrangement of genes what is the arrangement of genes dear students i will explain it with the help of a simple example by simple diagram this is the arrangement of genes this is the arrangement of these are various types of genes i will arrange them i will arrange them let us consider this is a promoter site and this is a terminator site in between the promoter site and terminator site there are so many structural genes which we called that means cystons which we called that means cystons these are known as cystons cystons so many cystons are structural genes and in case of prokaryotes what is the arrangement of what is the arrangement of different types of genes different types of cystons the arrangement of cystons in case of prokaryotes is that there is a common promoter and common terminator for so many structural genes or so many cystons this type of arrangement is known as polycystonic polycystonic dear students this is important what is meant by polycystonic what is meant by polycystonic polycystonic is simply the arrangement of the genes Polycystonic is the arrangement of genes in case of prokaryotes, where there is a common promoter and common terminator. Now we can write it as what is meant by polycystonic. Polycystonic arrangement is that when there is common promoter and terminator, promoter and terminator for so many structural genes 
structural genes or systems that we call the systems systems this type of arrangement is known as that is polar system this type of arrangement is known as polar system are you getting me now dear students this are about the broken here is the arrangement of genes is polar systemic and simple keep in mind that is p for prokaryotes and p for polysystemic p for prokaryotes p for polysystemic and what is the arrangement of genes in case of eukaryotes number 2 eukaryotes number 2 eukaryotes what is the arrangement of the genes let me explain it with the help of example diagram also let us consider this is the this is the diagram here this is promoter this is terminator this is promoter this is terminator this is promoter this is terminator so on and so in between this promoter and terminator this is system in this promoter and terminator this is the system in this promoter and this terminator this is system that means from this diagram it is obvious that this system system number 1 system number 2 system number 3 In order to rational, as you all to make clear, I write here system one, system two, and system three. Now this system one is under promoter and terminator. That means this system one possesses its own promoter and terminator. This system two possesses its own promoter and terminator. This system third requires its own promoter and terminator. And this type of arrangement is known as mono system. This type of arrangement is known as monosystemic. Keep in mind, keep in mind, the arrangement of genes in prokaryotes is polysystemic. Why in case of why in case of eukaryotes it is monosystemic. Now I will write here. I will write here. That means when what 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 is the arrangement? Now what is the arrangement in case of eukaryotes? when each system when each system requires needs it is own promoter and terminator promoter and terminator this type of arrangement is known as mono system these are the two important points these are the two important points as these are asked in there is competitive exams that means in case of neat ems that is one most important question is that is p like you in 2029 2019 or 2022 that means this is a p like you on this small systemic and polysystemic polysystemic means that arrangement of protein arrangement of genes in case of prokaryotes and small systemic in case of eukaryotes are you getting me are you getting me dear students now this all the arrangement of the genes in case of in case of prokaryotes and in case of eukaryotes now dear students we are here going to describe going to describe the lack of iran lack of iran model this polysystemic arrangement this monosystemic arrangement help us us to easily easily explain they help us to easily clear the concept of lack of iran now now dear students this lack of iran this lack of iran shows how a regulatory gene how a regulatory gene controls three structural genes this shows this lack of iran shows how one regulatory gene how one regulatory gene controls 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 three structural genes three structural genes three structural genes this is known as lack of iron that is how it shows this lack of iron shows how one regulatory gene controls three structural genes now this procedure this procedure was done on escherichia coli this was done on escherichia coli that means the organism was e coli e coli now dear students now dear students we know that 
this actual chia closure is dependent on this dependent on glucose for food that means it requires glucose as a food glucose as a food but what happens here what happens here if glucose is absent if glucose is absent then what happens then what happens actually i am here going to draw a diagram by which we can simply explain the process simply explain the process of the copium let us consider this is a beaker let us consider this is a beaker in which lactose is present in which lactose is present and this is the actual chia pole which is present inside the medium which is present inside the medium now this e coli uses glucose as a food but outside in the medium there is lactose there is not glucose now what happens what is the procedure in this procedure in this procedure in this process in this process we know that firstly we will explain what is made by lactose lactose is disaccharide it is disaccharide and it is made up of glucose and galactose glucose and galactose glucose and galactose glucose and galactose the two components of the two components of lactose are glucose and galactose simple process is that we have to break the lactose into glucose and galactose for this process for this process we require enzymes thus thus the procedure is that when glucose is absent when glucose is absent when glucose is absent there are the role there is a role of the enzymes number one is beta galactosidase galactosidase beta galactosidase number one permease number two beta galactosidase number one beta sorry permease number two and transacetylase transacetylase these are the three enzymes when glucose is absent and these are the three enzymes whose role comes into x and these are the three en enzymes whose formation whose synthesis occur in the absence of glucose and in the presence of lactose and this the function of the galactosidase is that it breaks lactose into glucose and galactose galactose actually the bond between the glucose and galactose is glycosidic linkage and this galactosidase is that enzyme which breaks the bond glycosidic linkage between of between glucose and galactose glucose and galactose and what is the role of permease permease allows permease allows when this hcl pole is present inside the medium have us firstly we will explain that simple language after that we explain it here briefly this is this is lactose molecule this enters inside the hcl pole and for the transport for the transport inside the medium inside the cell we will care enzyme that is known as permease this permease allows the lactose entry entry of lactose inside the cell and after entry this beta galactosidase acts on the lactose and breaks it into glucose and galactose what about the role of transacetylase as per ncrt there is no role but in higher classes there is a role of the uh, transacetylase actually simply you have to keep in mind it adds acetyl group it adds acetyl group only adds acetyl group acetyl group and yeah get a solution is yes now i will explain it by the experiment when glucose is absent when glucose is absent i will firstly drop it then it will become clear more clear i will drop this and after that i will here draw the two diagrams by which we can explain it easily by which we can explain it easily when glucose is absent number one when glucose is absent this procedure this lack of ion depends on when glucose is absent when glucose is not present then here two cases arise then here two cases arise two cases arise 
Number one case is that two cases. Number one case is that lactose is absent in medium. Lactose is absent in medium. And number two is lactose is present in medium. Lactose is present in medium, and lactose is present absent in medium. These are the two cases. If lactose is absent in medium and lactose is present in medium, dear students, we have learned, we have we know that when lactose is present, when lactose is present, then there is the formation of there is the synthesis of three enzymes. Number one, beta galactosidase. Number two. Number two permease and number third transacetylase. And when lactose is absent, synthesis of these three enzymes occur. No, here is no synthesis. In this case, when lactose is present, synthesis of these three enzymes occur. Yes, yes, yes. That means when the lactose is present in the medium, synthesis of synthesis of synthesis of three enzymes occur. Number one enzyme is beta galactosidase. Number two is transacetylase. Transacetylase, and number third is permease. These are the three enzymes. These are synthesized only when the lactose is present in the medium. When the lactose is present in medium. Now I will explain it with the help of diagram. I will explain it with the help of diagram. Dear students, dear students, this is the diagram. This is the diagram. This is the diagram. Actually, this is the arrangement of the genus. This is the arrangement of genus of Escherichia coli of E. coli. Let us consider. Let us consider. This is the regulatory gene. It was it is own promoter and it is the own terminator. And this is the sequential gene. It was it is own promoter and it is own terminator. In between them. Remove the intermediate in case of sequential gene. There are three types of cell: cell number one, cell number two, cell number three. And we call them cells as X, sorry, Z or Z Y A. We call them Z Y A. There is cell number one, cell number two, and cell number three. We call them as Z Y A. And here the regulatory gene. We write here that is I. This is the regulatory gene. Clear? That means this I is regulatory gene. This I is regulatory gene. This is not a. This is not a inducer gene. This is not a inducer gene. That means we call this. We call this. We call this. We will write here like I. This is called regulatory gene. This is regulatory gene. Number. Two. Number two, this regulatory gene is repressive. This regulatory gene is repressive. The product of this regulatory gene is repressive. When the product of the regulatory gene is repressive, it means here is a negative control. Here is a negative control. Here is a negative control. Can you? Can you see it? Yes. That means this I lag I is a regulatory gene, and this lag I is a regulatory gene. It Or produces it, the product of the regulatory gene is repressor, and this repressor produces it is negative control. And what is the product of the Z and what is the product of lag Z, lag Y, and lag A? The product of the Z is beta galactosidase. The product of Y is permease. And the product of A is transacetylase. Transacetylase. These are the three products of the lag Z, lag Y, and lag A. These are the three products. Keep in mind, sir. But the problem is that we can't, we can't, we can't imagine. But the problem is that we can't memorize this. <coughs> But the problem is that we can't memorize the product of lag Z, lag Y, and lag A. The simple 
the simple here is keep in mind that means we here write z y a g p t what is meant by z and by a keep in mind like this keep memorize this like this z for g y for p a for t that is z synthesized beta galactosidase y synthesized polymerase and a synthesized trans acetylase this is the process this is the pathway this is a simple trick by which we can memorize lag y lag z lag a what they synthesize what they synthesize now what is the procedure what is the process what happens here this is the simple diagram i will here write it one more time one more time this is our promoter side this is our terminator side this is our promoter side this is our terminator side but if we are going to explain this after that promoter here is operator and operator here is z y a and here is i here is i now from this uh, i g from z regulatory g we are here going to synthesize messenger rna from messenger rna we are here going to synthesize liprasa liprasa let us consider the diagram let us consider this is a liprasa this is a liprasa this is a liprasa this is the condition number 1 this is a case number 1 case number 1 in case number 1 glucose is present glucose is present case number 2 glucose is absent glucose is present and glucose is absent this procedure occurs continuously and we have to discuss about this process when glucose is absent but what about when glucose is present what happens at that time we have to keep this in mind also we have to keep this in mind also that means when when glucose is present when glucose is present and this repressor is formed from the regulatory gene this repressor comes and binds with the operator binds with operator binds with operator when it binds with operator binds with operator it inhibits or it decreases the activity of z by a that means there is no synthesis of messenger rna from z there is no synthesis of uh, messenger rna from y and messenger rna from a in other words we can also say that the polymerase rna polymerase and the rna polymerase does not bind with this side when repressor is present when glucose is present this rna polymerase does not bind with this side with the promoter side when it does not bind with the promoter side that means there is no synthesis of their respective enzymes their respective enzymes actually their promoter and operator these are not separate these are coupled these are coupled simple procedure i will show here this is the this is the promoter and this is the operator these are just like this these are just like this that means when when the rna pole will bind with the promoter and it will continues the function that will z will be part its own and z will form its own and a will form its own and but when the repressor binds with the operator side no process occur no process occur now in this case when glucose is absent and lactose present lactose is present lactose is present in medium dear students it is also the case of when glucose is present and lactose absent lactose absent lactose absent in this case glucose is absent and lactose is present this this gene results the formation this regulatory gene forms the repressor this also forms the repressor if you form that that the messenger rna after that it will form repressor and this is simply repressor this is simply repressor at that time at that time this is present in the medium this is present in the medium and the, there is a in case of medium there is a lactose let us consider these are the lactose molecules these are the lactose molecules 
and one there are so many molecules of lactose let us consider these molecules come and bind with the ribose when these lactose molecules bind with ribose when these lactose molecules bind with ribose and this ribose becomes inactive and this ribose becomes inactive when it becomes inactive it is not able to bind with the operator sac then here is the role of rna polymerase here is the role of rna polymerase this rna polymerase comes and binds here when it binds here there is the formation of the z gene the y gene and the a gene these systems results the formation of their respective enzymes that is beta galactosidase polymerase and trans acetylase trans acetylase this is the mechanism of lac operon this is the mechanism of lac operon now sir one of the most important question is here that one of the most important question is that this was weaker this is equal and these are the lactose molecules how is it possible how is it possible when this condition is present when glucose is present then how permeas molecule is permeas molecule present inside the chirchia pole which transports lactose from medium to inside is it possible is it possible yes let us have a look actually actually there are few molecules of lactose are few molecules of enzymes like permeas which are continuously present inside the cell which are continuously present inside the cell but the number but the quantity is negligible we consider it is a negligible let us consider one or two molecules and when when one or two permeas molecules are present inside the cell and when glucose is absent when glucose is absent in this case just like the second condition at that time the first permeas molecule which was present inside the cell it transports the lactose from medium to inside the cell clear are you getting me are you getting me are you getting me now now what about the lactose lactose acts as an inhibitor or lactose acts as a inducer dear students dear students this is a repressor this decreases the activity of this and this lactose molecule comes in binds with the repressor and it inactivates the repressor but it activates this process but this activates this process what process that is it activates the synthesis of beta galactoside is permeas and trans acetylase thus we call the lactose is a inducer is a inducer lactose is a inducer lactose is a inducer clear clear dear students so dear students this is simple procedure of the lactopyrrole that means when the regulatory gene controls the activity of the so many genes that type of gene is known as op opiron model these are known as op opiron and this is the condition when lactose is absent and this is the condition when lactose is either glucose is present this was simply about the lactopyrrole model next to meet you in next class till then goodbye